the union territory of ladakh is clearly turning against its creator remember on august 5 2019 the bjp government at the center announced with a lot of fanfare that ladakh's long standing aspiration to be an independent entity would be realized soon that ladakh would be no more an appendage to jammu and kashmir it would be have its own unique identity the government announced that eventful day that ladakh would be segregated from the state of jammu and kashmir and would be given the status of a union territory the bjp had thought that day ladakh is would remain ever grateful to the ruling party for this kind gesture but have you marked how strangely things have played out in the last 3 years ladakhis have been disenchanted with the way ladakh the union territory is being governed by a posse of bureaucrats in the last 3 years they are so frustrated today that they have been saying that life in ladakh as part of jammu and kashmir for decades was much better than their life in the union territory in the last 3 years this assertion of ladakhis is a clear slap on the face of the strategists of the bjp who had thought the union territory deal would elicit huge support of ladakhis for the ruling party the bjp no doubt has been stunned by the turn of events in the last several months as a crisis averting exercise the union government did set up a high powered committee headed by the union minister of state for home nityanand rai this was set up last week in fact on 3rd january this committee was supposed to have 17 members 17 members including the government members members of le apex body lab lab and kargil democratic alliance kda these are the two major political social bodies which have been in the forefront of the protest in the last several months but the appeasement in the form of constitution of a committee did not seem to work in an emergency meeting last saturday that 7th of january the lab and the kda the lay apex body and the kargil democratic alliance decided not to be a part of this toothless nityanand rai committee what is the purpose of joining a committee which has nothing to do with our demands they ask what are the demands of the lab and the kda they say they would become a member of a committee set up by the central government only if that committee is given the mandate to discuss four major demands four major issues first the state of ladakh is a given the time to be taken to make ladakh a full fledged state that should be first discussed second the time to be taken to grant the benefit of the sixth schedule of the constitution mind you which applies to the tribal people of northeast 
that must apply to the tribals of Ladakh. And third, the time to be taken for the creation of the Public Service Commission and reservation of jobs for the youth of Ladakh. That's a huge demand for the youth of the country, of the state. And last but not the least, the fourth demand, creation of two separate parliamentary constituencies for Leh and Kargil. Now only one member of parliament represents the whole of Ladakh. The LAB and the KDA have decided to organize a protest rally on January 15, a rally to protest the ham-handed approach of the union gov government to the aspirations of the Ladakhi people. They have threatened to carry the battle to Delhi and organize dharnas at Jantar Mantra if their demands are not met soon. Ladakh is now hunting the BJP just as Telangana has been hunting the Congress in the last eight years. Remember the Congress government at the center divided the state of Andhra Pradesh and created a new state of Telangana in February 2014. The Congress had then thought it was offering an aspirational gift to the people of Telangana and they would never forget the benevolence of the ruling party that is the ruling Congress. But the people of Telangana were tired of the synonyms of the Congress and they rejected the National Party outright in the next election in favor of a regional party, TRS of KCR. The Congress has been handed severe drawbing defeat after defeat in the successive elections, assembly elections after the creation of the state. Two assembly elections already held and Congress has come up a cropper. Unless the BJP mends its ways, unless the BJP fulfills the aspirations of Ladakhis, it faces the same prospects in Ladakh in days to come, the entire Ladakh now stands united against the bureaucracy governed Union territory, a bureaucracy directly controlled by Delhi. The people of Ladakh want to be governed by their own representatives. The Buddhist dominated lay apex body and the Muslim dominated Kargil Democratic Alliance both are united on this demand. Both these bodies have had their strong differences but they have set aside their differences for the sake of democratic governance of Ladakh. The BJP will face the same fate in Ladakh as the Congress did in Telangana if it does not see the writing on the wall and takes corrective measure swiftly.